My name is Keith Burnett, I'm the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Sheffield. And we're involved with training apprentices because we know from the companies that want to build new factories here, from government who tell us we have to rebalance the economy, that the way this is going to happen is if we train these clever, talented young people in the skills needed for the future manufacturing workforce. This apprentice route gives us a real access to university education. The, all our apprentices are sponsored by companies. The companies will take them on and sponsor them in the future. Uh, they get a very practical uh, degree and they'll have no fees and no debt at the end of it. So it's true access. Uh, Boeing's very interested in the development of skills in young people because we need to fill the pipeline with talent. Uh, if you look at Boeing, we are skewed very heavily towards more mature uh, engineers and workers. Uh, and it's very important that we fill the pipeline with new talent, uh, be it technicians or engineers or both. Skills are extremely important, particularly in high value manufacturing. And if this nation is going to move from 11% of GDP near to the Germans at 25% of GDP, one of the greatest impediments to growth will be the lack of skills. I think everybody accepting that right across the political spectrum and indeed across industry itself. So there's going to be major initiatives and the AMRC, I believe, are at the leading edge of those initiatives by what the University of Sheffield have done in investing in an apprentice training centre of 250 apprentices. And that's important in itself for quality training, quality apprenticeships. But what is also important is that they are now giving these young people not only to be great artisans, to be great engineers, but also to be able to move on and achieve academic qualifications right through to a doctor. So we are actually into a vision where a young person, 16 years of age, not doing too well on some estate out there, but now can actually can come into an apprentice training at the AMRC and could finish up with a doctor in engineering. A seamless transition through a skills training, through education, into academia, and indeed becoming what I put the a rounded a really rounded engineer. The main reason we support apprenticeships is that we see that it's the only way that UK industry is going to get the skill base that it desperately needs to, to enable it to grow and perform on a, on a sort of a world stage really. The MRC Training Centre being part of the University of Sheffield is um, a brilliant plus point if you like for companies like AES Seal. Um, if they had that last year, which our apprentices this year, that we will be sending to the AMRC Training Centre, they can go on to do the higher apprenticeship so they can do the foundation degree straight after the three year apprenticeship rather than possibly having a gap and doing the HNC through other colleges and then going on to the university if they wanted to. So it's a lot more compact and us as a company we will get more out of it. The young people that the AMRC Training Centre are producing are immediately into our process. They are supervised, but they are adding value. They've got autonomy. Uh, they're delivering uh, a lot of benefit to the company straight away. Uh, and I believe that uh, if you give these young people opportunity, they can and will respond to that. Uh, and, and they will deliver what you need them to deliver on the day. Uh, the apprenticeship pathway that I'm on is the machining pathway. Um, and this starts off by you learning how to understand and interpret engineering drawings, uh, then you progress on to bench fitting, hand fitting, and then you go on to manual machining. And then further on down the apprenticeship, you progress on to uh, CNC machining. Trainers are really helpful if you, if you ever need any, any help when you're Whereas if you're using uh, any machines, need any help, just go to them and they tell you what, what you need to do. All of the engineering trainers we've got are from industry. Some have just spent a few years in training and education. When we recruited, we purposely looked for a blend of people, some with teaching experience, but also some who were new from industry. We can then teach them up. It's quite easy for them to become experienced trainers. And However, what benefits us if we get people from from industry is that we're keeping up with modern technology and people are bringing fresh ideas into the establishment. The MRC has a, has a role in the, in the middle of translating university research into practical applications in, in companies. So actually the, the, um, our apprentices get the best type of training here, they get the most up-to-date technology and then they can take that into the companies in the future 
and it's a really big technology transfer. For my apprenticeship, I wouldn't have said uh, that I would have gone to university to study engineering, uh, just because it never, thought it never really occurred to me. Uh, but doing the apprenticeship definitely has opened my eyes to seeing the possibilities of doing engineering as a degree. So we think it's very important that we be involved in apprentice training. It's important for the young people and their families. You know, they deserve the right for their talents to be involved with things that are making things, making wealth for the country. And that's why it's not just important to those families or to the university, it's important to the United Kingdom that we do this.